Hi again guys, I'm going to be uploading a number of tutorials in the near future to show you how to solve various cuboids like these and more um, and I wanted to make a quick video just discussing um, the parity algorithms you're going to need, need to use that way hopefully in the videos that I upload I can refer you to this video rather than going over the same things over and over again um, and also this video might be helpful for people who only want to know how to solve the parity problem they're having on a particular cuboid. So we'll start off with the 3x3x4 here. Um, this is a, a case you often see at the end of the solve for the 3x3x4. In my experience it's probably about 50% of the time you come across this. Um, what's happening is uh, you because you can't tell the difference between these two centerpieces you solve them the wrong way round at the beginning of the, of the solve um, because there's no way to know otherwise and then when you get to the end of the solve you end up in this situation now the, the algorithm you use to this only works on even sided um, parts of the puzzle so on this side you've got four um, the, the, the puzzle is four pieces high so this algorithm works um, as you'll see on the upcoming puzzles it doesn't work on every puzzle although the difference is minor for odd numbered sides but we'll, we'll get to that in a little while so the algorithm you use to solve this is you, you, you do a U2 to begin with where the U2 is splitting the, the center of the pieces that are flipped so on this one it's just between those two if it happened between happen to have four pieces there you'd split in the center of the four pieces and whatever but you split right in the center of the pieces that are flipped because you're always going to have an even number flipped that always works on these even sided puddles so the algorithm is u2 splitting in the middle r2 f2 u2 splitting in the middle then a u2 just on the top layer f2 R2 and then a U2 split in the middle to finish the solve and as you can see that's flipped those pieces that were out of sync. Now a different situation you may come across is if you've got one of these odd la numbered uh, of layered puzzles like this this is the um, cube for you 3 by 3 by 7 and as you can see what's happened here is you've you'll solve the, the center layer first then the, the outer layers around that center and once you've got to the end of the, that layer you may well find that you've got these layers flipped like this in the center um, now all you do in this case uh, because it's an odd numbered parity you don't you have to do it slightly differently because it is because you've got three pieces flipped so you can't you can't split in the middle like you did on the three by three by four so what you do here is slightly different you do a u2 but the u2 begins on the layer above the first flipped piece so that that green there is the first flip piece so you do a U, U2 on the layer above that you have um, I forgot to say actually you have the uh, the flipped pieces fa uh, the flipped face facing you so you've got a, a flip piece on the, on the left and the flip piece on the right and this is your F face so I'd say you do a U2 above the first flip piece then it's the normal kind of al parity algorithm so it's R2 F2 and then a U2 on this in the same place as you did it before, just above the first flip piece. Um, now on the even numbered layer algorithm, you'd now do another U2 on the top layer. You don't do this when you've got an odd number of pieces flipped. You go straight to doing your, your next F2, R2, U2, and then to finish it off, you have to do one more F2. So I'll go with that one more time. I'll just put it back in the position again. So it's U2 using the second layer, R2, F2, U2, F2, R2, U2, F2. So again, that's got us back in that situation where they've got three flipped pieces. So once again, you split it with a U2 just above the first flipped piece. So one, two. And then you do R2, F2, U2 above the, uh, the, above the first flip piece again, F2, R2, U2, F2, and as you can see that solves that. Now that works on any odd numbered um, side, but there is a slight caveat to that. If, you t if we move on to the 4x4x5 uh, four four here, 
this is a situation you may find on when you've solved this. Um, not the way I solve it actually, but it's still a good way to show you what happens in these situations. Um, you don't see it on this other cube because um, when you do that solve, you've already you've normally still got these pieces above and below unsolved, so you don't really see the difference. But what happens when you solve a parity on an ordinary number of layers is it flips the parity to a different side, and I'll show you what I mean. So I've got one piece flipped on this 4x4x5 four by four by and so I'll do the same algorithm as, as I've just done on the 3x3x7 three by three by I split it above the first flip piece and in this case it's only one so do a U2 there R2 F2 U2 above the flip piece F2 R2 U2 F2 and what this has actually done is it's created a parity over here it's swapped these two pieces around but as you saw in the first part of this video, um, on the 3x3x4, three by three by you do the even layered parity algorithm on these, and that will solve the parity. That doesn't create a parity elsewhere, whereas the odd number parity always does. So you do the same algorithm as you did on the 3x3x4 three by three by to solve this, obviously having the, the flip pieces on the left and right hand side, so this is the front face. You split with a U2 um, in the centre of the pieces that need to be flipped. So you do a U2, R2, F2, U2 splitting the pieces and then another U2 on the top layer F2 R2 U2 and that finishes that puzzle off now when we come on to the uh, irregular cuboids like these two here things can get a little bit more complicated um, you still use the same algorithms but you have to be a little bit careful exactly how you do them um, this is actually what makes these puzzles my favourite. I mean, this 3x4x5 by by in particular is my favourite puzzle I have at the moment. So, the way I solve these is to return them into cuboid form uh, and then solve the remaining pieces with parity algorithms. Now, I've set these up so they're fairly simple uh, to show you in this tutorial. Obviously, when I go through the, few tu the, the full tutorials for these puzzles, um, things will be a little bit more difficult than this. Now, as you can see on the 2x3x4 by by here, all we've got is one piece here and one piece here that's swapped and all we need to do is flip those over now as you can see at the moment they're on different layers so the first thing you need to do is put them on the same layer so we'll flip this to the outside 180 degrees and now they're on the same place on each side now the normal as you can see this is on an odd numbered side so it is three high so we use the odd number parity algorithm um, but as you can see it's not on the front face it's on the second face so when we do this when we do come to the front term we have to make sure we turn it so that we're actually moving the piece that's flipped on the up turn you do it above the piece that's flipped on the front turn you have to actually move the pieces that are flipped so make sure you do that so you see we've got it on the left and right sides we do the normal odd number parity with a 2u above where the parity pieces are 2r to F as I just said involving the piece that needs to be flipped to U to F to R to U to F now as you can see what's actually happened here is it's moved the parity to the front face um, it's moved it from the, the second one in to the first piece in and so we can just do exactly the same again but using the front turn as we normally would just on the one layer so we do the same again so we do the 2u above the piece that's flipped 2r 2f 2u 2f 2r 2u 2f now you see that's fixed that parity um, and we need to if you remember we did a setup move turning this side 180 degrees and we do that put that back where it belongs now and as I said before what a parity does on an odd number side is it moves it to another side of the puzzle so as you can see here it's moved it to here which is obviously on an even side so we can do the normal um, even numbered parity algorithm obviously I've got them on the left and right sides split it in the middle with a 2u 2r 2f split in the middle again with a 2u and then another 2u above it 2f 2r and 2u for where we started and as you can see that's taken away that parity now we move on to the three the beast that is the 3x3 three by three, uh, the 3x4x5 by, by Tom Z 
Um, if you don't already own this puddle, I heartily recommend you go out and get yourself one because this is just a fabulous puzzle, it really is. Now I've set it up with a couple of little parities here so that for us to fix. Uh, I'm going to start off, as you can see we've got these two here that need to be flipped, the, the two greens and the two blues. Um, they're going to work this very similar to the way it's just done on the 2x3x4 but because it's an even numbered side we can take them right out. So we do exactly what we did do for um, the 3x3x4, the even number parity, splitting it with a 2U, but again with the F because this, the pieces aren't at the front, we have to split it on the second layer, not the first layer for the F turn. So we do that, a 2U, splitting the pieces, 2R, 2F on the second layer, 2U splitting pieces and 2U again above it, 2F on the second layer, 2R and 2U. And what's that done? What that's done is brought the parity to the front. Now, the pieces to reflect aren't exactly what you might expect because there was already another parity here anyway. But because you know that all that does that we've just done is move it one layer forward, you know that you need to swap these two layers again. So we do the same thing again, split it in the middle to U, to R, to F, just on the single front layer, to U, split in the middle, to U above them. 2F on the front layer, 2R, 2U. Now you see that's taken out that last parity but it's left the one that we already had to begin with. Now I'm not going to solve this one here at the moment, you may see why in a moment. The We've also got this um, odd layer parity here on the centre. So I'm going to fix that one first. So we'll put them on the left and right sides, the two pieces that need to be flipped, the yellow orange and the yellow red. Hopefully they're showing up okay on this camera in this light. So we'll do the normal odd numbered parity algorithm. So it's 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U, 2F. And what this that's done is it's flipped it down to this size. You can see we've now got um, three flipped on each side of this but again this is an odd numbered side so we do the odd number parity algorithm we can't do the even number because we can't split them in the center so we do what it's saying again we split it above the flipped pieces with a 2u and we do normal 2r 2f 2u 2f 2r 2u 2f and what this has done is it moved it to another side um, now the reason I didn't do fix this parity algorithm earlier, I think it was on the green side actually, was because I thought perhaps, it, as always it flips it to another side, I thought perhaps it, these might get solved when solving this, this other parity algorithm, because what often happens is you'll, you'll find that these get flipped as the parity moves to another side, but it hasn't happened in this case, I've been left with a parity on two opposite edges, so we just need to do two um, even number parity algorithms to fix them. So the yellow blue and the yellow uh, and the white blue need to swap over. So put them on the left and right. Split them in the middle with a two U, two R, two F, two U. And splitting two U above them, two F, two R, two U. So that's that side fixed. So we've just now got the green, yellow, and the green, white to swap over now. Split them in the middle with a two U, two R, two F, two U. Splitting them, two U above them, two F. 2R, 2U, and that's it solved. Now obviously I will go into more details about these uh, when, when I provide the full solve videos. Um, it does, things do get a bit, little bit more complex than what I've shown you. But you've got the basic idea. Um, the All the, the algorithms I've shown you here, you can be used to fix the parity on any of the um, cuboid puddles that you come across. Um, absolutely any of these will be fixed by these algorithms. So everything from the 4x4x6 to the 3x3x5 crazy cube um, can have these problems and can be fixed by them so yeah please keep tuned for more tutorial videos please subscribe if you like my videos please click like and yeah there'll be more tutorials on the way take care guys bye so then we solve this in the same way we're doing our, uh, sorry U2 splitting um, between the two pieces, obviously I've got them on the left and the right hand side as always. Um, so you do a U2 splitting the 
the flip pieces in half R2 F2 U2 F2 R2 U2 F2 